Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I teach antique lovers how to create successful vintage and antique businesses. One of the ways I do that is through these videos. Today I want to share with you some of my recent vintage finds. So let's jump right in, shall we? I have a little collection of shoe lasts. That's what these shoe forms are technically called. Um, at Christmas time, I like to put a little candle in the top. Sometimes I'll put some garland around also. I couldn't pass this one up because I just think it is the cutest thing. It was $4. If I were going to sell it, it would probably, I, I think it would sell better even than some of the larger ones, but somewhere around $20 to $25. Picked up this little croc for 50 cents. They sell for $8 each. Here's another little croc-like um, ramekin, really. It's marked H on the bottom. It's an H in a circle, which I think is an early mark for hall, hall pottery. Although I'm not 100% sure about that, so if you know better than me, let me know. Cute, very farmhouse style. 50 cents and it should sell for about five to six dollars while we're talking about pottery oh my gosh i actually couldn't remember if i had already included this in a video i don't think i have but um if i have just ignore it this i picked up on the roadside we were out and about um I think we were down in the New Paltz area and there was some trash out with a sign that said free. And so I picked that up. I think it is adorable. I, there's something about miniature pottery. I mean, the work that went into producing that. I do think that it was um, made on a wheel and it is signed on the bottom, although you can't really make that out. Not super old. I don't think there's no wear at all on the bottom. But if I were going to sell it, I would price it at about $15. Picked these guys up at a, a flea market. It's a, a really a nice old candle snuffer. You'd put the, uh, the wick in there between the, the, the blade and the box and the box. This little uh, wall sort of pushes back the wick into the box to to put it out and I paid three dollars for them I think they're worth about twenty twenty dollars really nice ebony hand mirror for 250 should sell for about 25 beautifully smooth with a beveled um, glass there super nice piece picked up this Parcheesi came for a dollar at a flea market <clears throat> slash antique show and I really bought it for the dice because I have a small collection of, of dice and these are nice wooden ones. There are red and there are off-white. I'm not sure how much the game would sell. I honestly think the dice are possibly worth more um, than the game itself, but I'm going to say about $10. The box is nice, so I will probably keep the dice and maybe sell the box separately. That's my thinking at the moment anyway. Let's see what else we have. Here is a really sweet, older, heart-shaped cookie cutter should sell I think for about eight to ten dollars but um, I think it would be great in a um, maybe a shadow box like with your grandmother's recipe and her uh, wooden spoon something like that <clears throat> speaking of wooden here's a spool I picked up for a dime it's um, Willematic Willematic thread I had never heard of that, and I do have an article on my website about vintage thread, so I bought it for that reason, but also, oh my gosh, what a cute little candle holder, or put a bottle bush tree on there. Um, I will use it for a project. We'll probably not sell that. 
I found these three cotton hand towels for a dollar, a dollar for the three, which is a great buy. They are not in uh, perfect condition by any means at all. I'm going to try to wash them and remove some of those stains. My friend Rita has an article on her website about cleaning linens and I will link to that below for you. This is a crazy find. It was just 50 cents. I have a whole lot of um, clocks that I use to decorate my house. I sell some of them and um, use others in photographs, that sort of thing. Somebody painted this alarm clock green underneath. You can see it was off-white and I just thought that was cool. 50 cents. Here's a, a Kemper egg cup. I just thought that was really beautiful and just a neat design with a little tray. You could put your little uh, so, to toast soldiers, like the English have, the toast strips right on the side there. There you see the mark on the bottom. It is not super old. I paid $1.50. I think it'll sell for about 10 or $12. That's my thought on that. And here is a, a yardstick. I always pick up vintage and antique yardsticks. They sell well, and I have a lot of um, DIY farmhouse style projects where I use yardsticks, and I'll link to a few of those below. So this is a local one, Schenectady is one of the states in my tri-state area, and you can see it's old because, because of the phone number, right? Um, right there, five, five numbers in the phone number, crazy. That was from a while ago. One of my favorite things to look for at estate sales and garage, any sale, are leather uh, bound books. This one is Henry Alphonsus Lori, uh, The Life of St. Alphonsus Liguori. Is it in Italian? No, it's in English and it dates to 1873. And here is an inscription. Look at that penmanship, 1874. Um, I do have a collection of my own, but it's getting rather large, so I've started selling them, and it should sell for about 20 to 25, maybe $30. They sell really well. This one has nice gold trim on the, on the edge there, on all edges, and um, just really nice shape. I paid a dollar for it. I try to get all my books for a dollar. A couple of cookbooks. What says farmhouse more than plaid? <laughs> I have had a couple of copies of this one. It sells very well. Uh, I will clean it with a, um, a, not a dry erase, with a magic eraser. Uh, as dry a magic eraser as possible and that should brighten it up a little bit. It dates to 1932, and it should sell for about 15 to $20. And then Better Homes, new cookbook in the red, red buffalo check. Is that what that is? Buffalo check. Um, this one is a 1972 edition. It was a dollar. These were both a dollar each, and it should sell for about 20 dollars and I picked up this wreath for $3.99 at Salvation Army you can see that there's a Salvation Army price tag and I wish I, I'm, I'll get it up to my shop hopefully for the 4th of July and I like to have at least one country farmhouse style wreath in my booth at all times I still I have a door as a backdrop for the focal area and I will hang this on the door and they sell for about $25. They're really good sellers. So I recommend picking them up at thrift stores and garage sales whenever, whenever you can. And I'm close to the end. I am saving my two favorite pieces for the end. Here is a TR boot ironstone pitcher and there's the mark nice mark I'm gonna date this to about the 1880s to 90s 
It's got a nice little decoration there. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Um, and then a, a little bit of a, a sort of a leaf pattern right there. And I paid $3 for it. It does have a condition issue. I will buy Ironstone serving pieces that have condition issues because people are still interested in them. And so if this was in perfect shape, it would sell for about 60 to $70 and I will probably price it at about 40 and it should sell. And then the last piece is this little Ironstone bowl. It's got some embossing right there, nice decoration of um, kind of leaves and then this pretty transfer wear uh, leaf pattern. It was a dollar. I think it, it came with a, a toiletry set. So that would have been a pitcher and a bowl for water and then a toothbrush holder and a glass, uh, a drinking cup and um, a soap dish and that sort of thing. So this could have been a soap dish. It might have had an insert in it to allow the soap to drain. Um, that's my best thought on what that is you have any other ideas feel free to let me know <laughs> um, not worth like a huge amount of money but uh, just the sweetest little dish I will likely sell that on Etsy and price it at about uh, I'm gonna say 20 20 to 22 dollars and that's it today for my vintage and antique farmhouse finds I hope you enjoyed seeing them and I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. If you'd subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. Check out my website at adirondackgirlatheart.com. And as always, happy hunting.